Welcome back to Recaps Exposed. Today, I'm going to be exposing the movie 4x4. The movie begins with a man named Churro exploring his local neighborhood. Churro is a thug who steals cars. One day, he notices a car he can easily break into. He steals the stereo of the car and rebands in the overhead. After stealing the contents of the car, he lets out a massive fart. He finally feels ready to leave, but unfortunately for him, the car doesn't open. He tries the three other doors, but to no avail. He even tries the trunk, but fails miserably. After panicking for quite some time, he tries to break a window with no success. Chiro refuses to give up and attempts to dismantle the vehicle's door, but ends up hurting himself badly. The car door still does not open. A last resort for him is attempting to shoot out the front window, but the bullets bounce off and pierce his thigh. Chiro is in pain and wraps his shirt around the wound. At the beginning of the film, Chiro tried to avoid being seen, but after being injured, he now attempts to get the attention of passers-by. Luckily, a woman appears at the window of the car, applying lipstick, but does not see Churro, even when he screams. He toots, but the woman leaves not hearing him. Churro's phone battery dies, and he ends up falling asleep. The next day, he wakes very thirsty. He licks the condensation of the car window out of desperation. Churro puts the car stereo back in an attempt to listen to the radio. Churro ends up playing music, forgetting his troubles. Churro then tries to open the door again. As he tries to smash the door open, the car stereo starts ringing. Churro answers, and a man speaks. It's a doctor who owns the car. He welcomes Churro and explains Churro is the 29th person who is stolen from him, hence the trap. Churro is absolutely furious, but the doctor tells him to shut up and listen. The doctor calls the car a 4x4 and explains how it's bulletproof and you physically can't escape it when trapped unless the doctor wants to free him. The doctor explains the gas tank is a bomb and could explode if he tries anything funny. Churro is horrified. The doctor explains he's a widow and explains his life story. Churro has had enough and threatens to report the doctor to the police. Churro orders the doctor to release him so he can kill him. Before Chiro can finish, the doctor hangs up. The doctor then turns the aircon on to the lowest temperature so the doctor can torture Chiro. Chiro struggles to stop the AC. Chiro puts his top back on and tears his jeans to wrap it around his wound. After torturing Chiro for an hour, the doctor calls again and asks a question. What would Chiro do if he caught his son stealing? Chiro responds, but it doesn't satisfy the doctor. Churro pleads to stop, but the doctor doesn't care and continues with a story about what happened to his daughter last year. The doctor explains he trained his daughter to defend herself. However, the training wasn't enough. Churro is not interested in the doctor's questions. The doctor then hangs up. A police car then stops in front of the bull, which fills Churro with hope. Churro tries hard to get the attention of the policeman, but to no avail. Hours later, the doctor calls again and asks Churro his full name and his ID number in exchange for water. The water is from the water tank and it's blue, but Churro doesn't care and sit with relief. Churro is starving without food, so he eats an insect. Later on, Churro checks his wound. It's very infected. The doctor helps Churro by turning on the AC. Churro then passes out while on the phone to the doctor. Later, when Churro wakes, he goes through the car manual, trying to figure out how to escape escape, but instead eats the paper in desperation. Churro then pees in a container and drinks it, once again out of desperation. Things look good for Churro when someone tries to break in. However, the thief is caught, beaten, and handed to the police. Night falls again and Churro is not doing well and starts thinking about life and philosophy. He adds that the world is full of poverty, with laws made by the rich to help the rich. This is why he's a thief. The doctor calls Churro the next morning. He's in a good mood and so he guides Churro to a hidden chocolate bar. After relaxing all day, Churro attempts to break out of the car again. Churro manages to make a small hole in the door and screams out the hole to try and attract attention, but without success. The doctor calls again and tells Churro he's called his family. Churro is angry and cries and threatens the doctor. Churro asks what he did to deserve this. The doctor then brings up Churro's criminal record and reveals that Churro murdered someone once. 
After crying his eyes out, Churro presses the car's start button and manages to turn it on. He puts on his seatbelt and the car only drives in reverse. Churro purposely crashes the car. The car prison then breaks, and Churro is able to break the back window and escape. Churro escapes. He's in extreme pain, but stumbles to an eatery, and the manager makes him leave, but Churro shoots the manager out of anger. Churro then wakes from his sleep and realizes that it was only a dream. The doctor calls again, and Churro threatens to commit suicide. The gun then gets stuck. The doctor laughs and tells Churro to look in front of the car. It's the doctor. The doctor lets himself in the car. Churro is too fatigued to move. The doctor tends to Churro's wound. Churro falls asleep. Just then, Churro unsuccessfully tries to shoot the doctor and jumps out of the car. He's finally out and shoots in the air in hopes that someone will help. The doctor gets to him and tries to drag him back to the car. A policewoman spots the two and orders the doctor to drop the gun. Hours pass by. The police and the media surround the area. The doctor refuses to let go. An investigator asks what the doctor wants. The doctor says a range of problems he faces every day that the government won't help stop. The public resonates with the doctor and cheers. The doctor then finally lets Churro go. The doctor then gets in his car and puts a timer on his car, convincing people it's a bomb. The investigator tells everyone to back up. The bomb explodes and the doctor dies, but the public will never forget his truth. That was all for this recap. I hope you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite film.